coming up on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills After Show. When I get it, I will let it the f***ing go. I've apologized. I've apologized. Apologized again. Does Lisa enjoy this? Ooh. First of all, I'm thinking, don't do this. What the hell are you doing? What is going on? And then when she just started sobbing, we're reminded that she just lost her mom. I'm trying to figure out how to live without my mom. And I don't know how to do it. To see Lisa so hurt, I know that her mother was the most important thing in her life. I don't know. I don't Say know. it. I don't know if the concern was like grave concern or I judging me. A little. Because I have an eating disorder? I think that we have a very bad habit of talking about each other behind each other's backs. And no. It's not their life, it's mine and my journey. And it's the one thing that I can be very strong about. Like, I will not allow people to hinder my recovery. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills After Show starts now. At Dorit's charity dinner, Sutton, you and Rena clash yet again. We did? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What made you do that? That's the answer I want. Because when I get it, I will let it the f go. Oh, first of all, first of all, the type I of people. Shouldn't. I just think that Rena has never gotten over the fact that Sutton tried to make her look stupid on Watch What Happens Live. I invited them to the Elton John gala. Okay. And they came with me as my guest. I never got a thank you. Oh. I don't think that was very fair of Sutton at all when Ren and Harry have been going to that event for years. They're invited guests for years. We've been going to this event as guests of Elton's for years and years. She just does not want to let that go. Even though Sutton has admitted she was wrong and apologized. Here's the thing. I've apologized. I'm sorry. I've apologized? I am sorry that I humiliated you. Apologized again. I did not have a chance to express my apology for causing any embarrassment. This was never my intent. With sincerity, Sutton, with a kissy kitty cat face and a heart. How many times, I mean, a lot. every time, every time we're all together, I apologize every single time. And does Lisa enjoy this? Mm. I know what I did was wrong. I didn't come from a bad place when I did it. No, and it wasn't that traumatic. But she, it hurt her. Yeah. What made you do that? That's the answer I want. Because when I get it, wrong. I will let it the f***ing go. I didn't mean to hurt you. Please understand that. I don't need to be forgiven. If you want to make this go away, you make a public I apology, have to play by and your you rules. say, "I'm so sorry, do I did that." Do what you say, Sutton. Why did you do Lisa it in the first place, Lena's Sutton? Rule book. Why, Sutton? Let me see. Do what she says, then it goes Sutton. away. You need to find it in your heart to forgive me. I can't do anything to make you. One other thing that really upset Lisa was, "Don't drag Harry into it." Yeah. The fact that you didn't go up and apologize to my husband when you had a chance. If you have a problem with me, say that. Don't drag Harry in. Oh, I understand that as well. As we know, you do not mention the husband. <laughs> no, you don't understand that. Never, never go after my husband. But honestly, they both think they're right. They are not backing down. I can't win. It's like sort of like with the man thing. You're going to win with the man thing. Am I? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna make a bet. Who am I going to win over first? A man or these ladies? A man. Okay, we'll see. Dorit's charity dinner seemed like it was an emotional night for Rena. You know, when that whole situation happened with Rena and Sutton, it was really shocking, even for us. What made you do that? That's the answer I want. Because when I get it, wrong. I will let it the f***ing go. Rena really lost it in that moment. First of all, I'm thinking, don't do this. What the hell are you doing? What is going on? And then when she just started sobbing, we're reminded that 
she just lost her mom. I'm trying to figure out how to live without my mom. And I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I'm doing the best I can. You know, everyone handles grief differently. And for whatever reason, you know, she's having her ups and downs, whether it's anger or whatever it is she's going through. But it was very clear in that moment she was struggling. You know, the thing is, Lisa was soldiering on. Yeah. You know, she, she was really putting was. one foot in front of the other. And much like, you know, grief, it takes, however the toll it takes on somebody, you know, you go through a wave of emotions, I can only imagine. And I felt like I could really, really understand what Lisa was doing because I was doing the same thing, which you live through this trauma and all you are doing is you're putting one foot in front of the other and you're just letting the emotions come and dealing with them when they come. And they come un out of nowhere. And that day, unbeknownst to us, she had just received her, Lois's things had arrived, her last things had arrived, her boxes. My mom's things arrived. There's everything from all my childhood photos and her jewelry. It's really, really heavy. She was unpacking all of her mother's right. personal this stuff. So it was so final. And I think that a lot of her emotions that night were triggered by the events of the day. And mm -hmm. I don't think she was realizing. Having known Lisa like we know her, I don't think she saw that coming. No, no, no. not at all. <gasps> I'm so sorry to do this in public. I'm so sorry. It was so, so big. I hope it was cathartic for her. I mean, I remember when my dad, it was actually before he died, he was passing. And Jeff and I went outside and we just started screaming in the streets. All our emotions. And I remember thinking that, like, maybe that's what she's going through right now. It's easy, you know, to sort of, when we're doing so much and we've been traveling and going and, you know, events and stuff, you can kind of, you know, forget for a minute. And then you go, God, I mean, she literally just lost her mom. So I think that that, um, that was a very telling moment, but uh, it was still shocking.